It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show. This NBA season in full swing, and we are so glad to have you here with us on 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. He's excited. Kenny is here. He's excited. Yes. We're just happy to have you here. Tonight, it'll be the Cleveland Cavaliers going up against the Atlanta Hawks. Last outing for the Hawks, unsuccessful, coming away with a loss to the Knicks in New York. They suffered a blowout loss trying to leave that one in the rear view and focus on the game at hand. Oh, we're going to see DJ in action tonight, a player who's been doing really well lately. Guys, the way DJ has performed the last handful of games, do you think he should be moved into the starting lineup? You know, you couldn't have drafted this guy to sit him on a bench, Ernie. How yeah. can you sit him on a bench, this guy, DJ? I mean, Beats me. unbelievable. So, I mean, he's looked ready in his last few games. I think this is a coaching error. This guy is ready, and if you don't play him, you could find yourself without a job. And not only that, as a player, you don't ever want to hand your starting job to another guy. But hey, Kenny, like I said, DJ has earned it. And I think the coach is smart enough to make this decision really, really quick. Were you guys around the other day when, when DJ was walking around here in the studio? Oh, without question. Yeah, yeah, I saw yeah we saw him. Yeah. He's taller than I thought he was. Yeah, he, yeah, he was. Very, you know very what? personable, you know very what? nice guy. He didn't have an entourage. I like that. I like that, too. Oh, I know. Well, he maybe, he can borrow, maybe he can borrow yours. Well, I don't have an entourage. He right. left his bag in there, in there, and it was just full with money. I mean, yeah. the DJ's getting paid. Yeah, and I almost <laughs> took it, but I said, uh, I gave you know it. What? We gave it back. No, I'm not going to do that. Time now for tip off. Time to send it out to Kevin Harlan for the call. in their seat here at the Quicken Loans Arena in Cleveland as the Cavaliers look to grab a win here at home. Kevin Harlan here along with analysts Greg Anthony and Steve Smith and we'll be hearing from D.A. along the sideline all game long. Last outing for Atlanta unsuccessful. The loss to the Knicks in New York and that was a real body blow for them. They got taken apart both offensively and defensively. 
And, you know, this can happen on the road. You're out defending guys who have just gotten into a comfort zone playing at home. Well, you have to have an aggressive mindset, and you have to try to disrupt their rhythm. And two conference rivals, Steve, going head-to-head. -head. Maybe a little extra animosity tonight here. You know, Kevin, to describe it, they don't like each other. There will be no right. hugs, no handshakes. This is about compete. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Jay Crowder's checked in for Love. Corver comes in for James. Wells is checked in for J.R. Smith. And Parsons subbed in for Thomas. Out of bounds, Atlanta will take possession. Now that we have a second, take a look at the teams that have scored the most points off turnovers over the last 10 games. The Cavaliers, number one. I mean, they've gotten a little more aggressive defensively. You can become a more confident team on that end, and so much of it, I think, has to do with forcing turnovers and creating offense. Yeah, still moving a little bit when he set that screen. He'll argue that he was set, but I, I really didn't think so. That's the modern-day NBA. Complain about the call and hope the next one goes your way. DJ kicks to well. Cleveland moving it around. Parsons for three. Collins grabs the miss. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Here's the screen. Babbitt from long range sinks the triple. Babbitt's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And defensively, you've got to make a greater effort working over the screens. Yeah, he could have made a better choice. He left him an easy one. Let's see how he plays the next screen. Thompson, a screen on Collins. Here's Crowder. Plays it up and banks it in. Crowder's got 10 points in the game. The Hawks leading. From the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, I did speak with Mike Budenholzer for a few minutes. He said the focus defensively is going to be making things difficult inside. He wants to get them off the three-point line and make them take as many mid-range shots as possible. Kevin? Thank you, David. The baseline J. Rebound by the Hawks. 152 left to play in the first. Now here's Bazemore. Not a lot of room. To the paint. Here's Muscala. A shot missing. And Cleveland will come the other way. They're coming off that win against Philadelphia. I just thought the defense was, was porous. Got any shot they wanted, really, for most of the evening. I'll give them credit. Even though they were facing very little resistance, they refused to play down to the level of their competition. Now here's Bazemore. He's tightly guarded, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to go on Tristan Thompson. You know, he was undrafted out of Old Dominion. Ken Bazemore has come a long way. Didn't get much run his first few years in the league, but now he's an impact player. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. He's knocked down three quarters of his foul shots this season, so he's right around 75%. And going into last season, Ken Bazemore commanding a salary in excess of $17 million. Greg, how did an undrafted player coming off his first starting season in the league get that kind of salary? Timing is everything. <laughs> Reflection of the market. You remember you had that huge spike in the cap. It's also a bet on his upside and work ethic. And with Bazemore, you see that the dedication to improve is there, and that's what made the Hawks comfortable with the contract. Outside Jefferson. Back to Parsons, clock at four. Bangs home the trifecta. DJ's got the game tied up here for Cleveland. You talk about zeroed in, DJ with the rise and fire from distance. Inside, here's Collins, power down with both hands. You have to credit the pinpoint pass for making that play possible. Cleveland's gone two of five from three-point land here in the first quarter. Crowder kicks to Parsons. Thompson, high post. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Well, Tristan Thompson, the only player I've heard of to switch his shooting hand for free throws midway through his career. He's basically ambidextrous, so why not give it a try? 
The Cavaliers shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. No good on that one. And Tristan Thompson remains a relatively poor shooter, free throws and otherwise. He's tried to add a 15-footer, Smitty, but I don't know if that's in the cards. And I think he's probably better off just staying around the rim. The kind of rebounder he is, sometimes you just have to play to your strengths. And, Kevin, they need to be consistent with their effort on the boards. You look at the box score, and they're at a definite disadvantage. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. The unbelievable effort. Thompson, a dedicated warrior on the office of glass. Bazemore passes to Delaney. And off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. And the Hawks lead by two. Back right after this. And the second quarter getting underway. No team gaining an edge so far. And what do you guys think about the Hawks here in this one? Well, I mean, they just got hot early from beyond the arc, and, and we'll just have to wait and see if they can keep that going. They also want to be unpredictable. Mix up the play calling. Keep the defense guessing. They've got Tristan Thompson. EJ out there with Kyle Korver. Then it's Jefferson, and it's Crowder in at the four. That's the group for Cleveland going right now here in the second. Delaney kicks to Muscala. There's the pick. Shot clock at six. Baysmore inside the three-point line. And again, it's Atlanta. And on offense, Baysmore doesn't force shots. He picks his spots. Outside Jefferson. Back to Parsons. The pass to Corbin. To the inside. Crowder. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. And guys, right now, the defense mentally not there. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, Jay, you're right. Almost a free run for him there. The defense looks done right now. No hustle or real desire to get stops. From deep, Delaney no good. The Cavaliers trailing. Parsons dishes to Corver. Thompson, high post. Pass to Crowder. Parsons for three. The shot will not fall. And Atlanta will go the other way with it. Their last encounter was in Atlanta. And the previous meeting was a win for them and a huge day for the bench. The reserves really stepped it up with their scoring. Getting good production from the reserves on a daily basis is a key ingredient to any team's success. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And there's the foul against Cleveland. Hey, Smitty, when you get this far into the season, we see more teams having to deal with the occasional back-to-back -back game. Just how hard is it to play two nights in a row? It's extremely hard. You have to be on top of your game, like you say, and for night in and night out for a back-to-back. -back. And what makes it also hard is the opponent and also the amount of travel. Sometimes you're getting in at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, and you got to turn around and play again. There just haven't been enough time to recover. That's when you have a deep roster, those guys can help. People don't realize back in the day there were four and five days, five and seven days, and those are tough. Those are extremely tough. Just four to shoot. It's Jefferson with the drive. Off on the layup. Atlanta leading by four. Knocked loose. Out of bounds. Cleveland will take possession. And a chance here to check the stats for Jay Crowder. How last month turned out for him? Averaging about seven points, four rebounds, and two assists. And the numbers won't wow you, but I like the effort he brings to the table each and every night. You need guys who understand their roles. Carry them out without complaint. Everything he does is for the team. DJ kicks to Jefferson. Crowder against Collins. On its way from Parsons for two. Parsons missing again. Can't convert, but a good opportunity from mid-range. He'll take that every time. Delaney kicks to Collins. Dishes at the baseball. And Thompson sends it back. Great timing by Tristan Thompson on that block. That's his forte. 
Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Delaney, the pass to Muscala. Delaney kicks to Muscala. A great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. Thompson dishes to Shumford. Crowder kicks to Shumper. Down to five on the shot clock. Parsons for three. Parsons missing again. Not sure why he keeps trying his luck from deep here. It's just not his night. Delaney kicks to Muscala. Here's Delaney. Covered by Parsons. Passes it to Muscala. Hits it from three-point range. And it's a seven-point Atlanta lead. What a valuable asset to the offense, having a big with that kind of range. Jefferson kicks to Crowder. Outside jumper. To the middle, here's Jefferson. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Jefferson's got his first bucket of the night. Good look by Shumper, right on the money. Hawks passing it around. And Bazemore kicks to Delaney. Feeds to Collins. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got seven rebounds in the game. On the wing, Shumper. Outside Jefferson. It's DJ atop the key. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And a huge payroll for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Steve, there's been tension at times with LeBron demanding more help to keep his team in title contention. Yeah, the dollar signs, the luxury tax payments, and the tens of millions. Ownership made that commitment when they asked LeBron to come back. Money is no object when it comes to winning rings. Wow. What, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. Catching up on the changes for Cleveland. Love's check in for Tristan Thompson. James comes in for Jay Crowder. And Smith subbed in for Jefferson. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Well, DJ in the last matchup against the 76ers looked strong. He ended up with 22 points, and that scoring outburst set a new season high for him in what became a great exhibition on his part. A surprise attack from a guy who's typically viewed as a role player. We'll see if he can continue to play a larger role in tonight's game. Nice work, D.A. Thank you. It was a very focused, intense performance we saw from him last time out. And there was no letdown at any point in that game. That focus you talked about never went away. He'll bring that same focus. If there's one thing we can be sure about is that he is mentally prepared each and every night. And the foul called on D.J. That'll be his second foul of the game. Second foul. You don't want to pick up a... And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that has been very close so far. Hawks lead by four. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Tristan, what's the plan for the second half tonight? Well, it's simple. It's going to be a dogfight. You know, they got big guys, true bigs, and we got to come out, play hard, and not let up. Okay, we'll see if you can get that done. Thanks, Tristan. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David, and we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half of basketball. DJ is checked in for Isaiah Thomas. So it's the Cavaliers now. Eight-point game. They'll face the Lakers after this one. That'll be at home. And that's the third of four straight played at home. On the court for Atlanta, Schroeder and Bellinelli team up in the backcourt. Eliasova out there with Prince. And it's Deadman into the five down low. James outside over Prince. Makes a big height bounce and goes in. 
James has got his third basket of the night. Well, that's the thing. Anytime LeBron wants to stop you, he has all the tools to do it. They double him with DJ. From the arc, Prince misses. Well, in the rebounding game, at least, it's been a strong physical performance for him. Here's Thompson. It's good, the assist that time from Smith. And now it's just a four-point Hawks lead. Refining his skill set inside, you see the work Thompson's putting into his game. And Bellinelli kicks it over to Schroeder. Here's Deadman, and he uses both hands to jam it in. Ooh, that's as forceful a finish as you're ever going to see out of this guy. Well, gee, it adds now to their lead in spectacular fashion. That's about as, as violent as a rim rocker as it gets. A real confidence builder. Kicks it out to James. Smith outside over Bellinelli. And it's Smith missing. The Hawks leading by six. Schroeder outside. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's going to go on Tristan Thompson. And you see how the game has slowed down for Schroeder. Poise enough to use the up fake. Draws the foul. He shot well from the line tonight going four for five. And the first one drops. And Dennis Schroeder out of Germany handed the keys as the full-time starter at the point guard in his fourth season. And with his confidence and competitive spirit, you know he was chomping at the bit for that opportunity. And you got to love his athleticism coupled with that big play capability. It's just exciting to see how good this young man can become. Great concentration to knock that down with the defender closing out. Dennis has no conscience. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Cleveland shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. And they've been mediocre all season long, just about 72% from the line. Well, Steve, with all the sharpshooters in the league right now, we'll always see the, the pick and roll. It's never going to go away. Usually it was a small and a big. A guard uh, getting the screen, the big then rolling inside and getting the pass. But now because the players are sometimes, we see smaller lineups, a lot of guards on the floor, three guards at a time. Sometimes you do see a guard-to-guard pick and roll. You see different sizes combining with the most standard play in the league. You're totally right, Kevin. You look at the pick and roll, the hardest play to defend. And now we have the pick and pop. The bigs are not rolling. And like you said, we have guard-to-guard -guard pick and roll. You want to just create a mismatch. And because of all the spacing, it's so hard because when a guy rolls down the lane, there's such a long run for defenders now. So that's why the pick and roll is great, especially with the new defensive rules. You can't be in a lane, so it opens it up even more. Moose Scala and the three off target. The Cavaliers trail by 10. Here's Parsons, and there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And Atlanta gets called for the foul. Off the dribble drive, one of the best ways in this lead to get fouled. DJ taking advantage of it. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. That free throw, no good. And it's gotten to be an arms race around the league as far as player development. Every year, more teams investing in infrastructure. The Hawks no different. They cut the ribbon on a new 90,000 square foot practice facility this season. Crowder is checked in for J.R. Smith. Collins checked in for Atlanta. Ken Bazemore comes in for Dennis Schroeder. Oh, and a fast break for Atlanta. Here's Bazemore. Atlanta again missing. And one thing that's different about the Hawks' new practice facility, it's a joint venture with a couple sports science organizations, including Emory University's entire sports medicine branch. Yeah, Kevin, it gives the Hawks a competitive edge. No better way to stay on the cutting edge than to share a building with those paving the way. Muscala, the pass to Delaney. A baseline J. It's rebounded by Cleveland. James has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Outside Crowder, back to LeBron. Here's Thompson. How on the play, basket counts, so it'll be a three-point play chance. The toughness of Thompson powering up for the score, plus a chance.
to add to his total at the line. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Wells is checked in, and a switch here also for Atlanta. Luke Babbitt, he's checked in for Torian Prince. And the Hawks, second in turnovers forced last season. What I love, they do it without fouling. Bottom six in personal. And Hawks coach Mike Budenholzer came from the Spurs. They play a more conservative defensive style. Uh, they don't gamble. Well, Bud, even he is a little surprised to coach a team that thrives on steel. It comes from fundamentals, though. Keep your hands high and wide, deny passing lanes, and force deflections. Shot for dishes to DJ. Kicks to Crowder. Cleveland moving it around. Three-pointer. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Thompson. And we'll examine here how the distribution has been between three-pointers and two-pointers tonight for the Hawks. It really struck a nice balance between long-range shooting and also attacking the rim. That keeps the defense off balance and keeps things flowing offensively. There's a good screen. That's a two from Babbitt. And the shot no good, a bit short. And this is one of those times where the coach has got to preach, be unselfish. And we don't know that he hasn't. Maybe it's been falling on deaf ears. Guys taking ill-advised jump shots. Nice shot by Thompson. Second chance opportunities. The great equalizer. The Hawks leading by five. Delaney kicks to Muscala. He dishes it to Baseman. Pass to Delaney. From beyond the arc. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. You can see the frustration. They hold the lead, but he wants to be able to contribute. And stolen by Baysmore. Now the Hawks moving it the other way. The big dunk at the end of the break. And that's the kind of play you just do not want to give up defensively. You lose the possession and give up a quick two at the other end. Left side, Parsons. Here's Shumpert. That's in, coming off the assist from Parsons. Shumpert's got his second basket of the night. And that's how you get your confidence going. Shumpert just catching and firing. Here's Delaney, covered by Parsons. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. And hammering down the two-hand slam. Outside Shumpert. Wells sets the pick for Shumpert. There's the dish to Wells. The screen from Thompson. Six to shoot. And it's Delaney with the rebound. We have blown opportunity after the two-man game creates a terrific look. That's how it's drawn up. That is everything but the finish. And Atlanta again with the bucket. You can see there the defender allows himself to get picked. You know, it's all about effort. Sometimes you're going to get hit on hard screens. You just have to fight through them. Shumpert passes to Crowder. He feeds it to Parsons. Here's Thompson. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. One thing about Thompson, he's made improvements to his body and his game each and every year. That free throw good from Thompson. In with all the young... So it's a narrow win for the Cavaliers pulling it out. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans. But in the end, everyone satisfied. Yeah, I mean, there were some times that, that momentum... But let's give this group a lot of credit. That stick-to-itiveness in terms of finishing out and executing that game plan. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. DJ, drop that beat. Uh, DJ. What? Wait a minute. Oh, hey. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, old man. Uh -oh. Get it. What, what is that? This? Yeah, man. This is the post check. Y'all ain't never. Post you ain't never seen the post check? Really? Nah. How man. old are y'all? I cannot have either one of y'all by more than eight years. <laughs>
Who's hey, that? You. We're talking about how old are we with the... Uh, 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 yeah, my I hip. look like that Post when I do it. I heard the hips crack. <laughs> Man, I heard that hip. One of those days, sir? One of those days, Spinelli. Chin up. You'll get him next time. 